what's up everybody blue gabe y'all we ain't even but pulled up yet and jake's already ripping lips what you got what is it first guess you know you got to wait for the cameras to be turned on son what'd you catch him on he already jerked me that's your favorite bait ain't it uh one of my favorites watch watch out watch him redneck will get him so we've got some celebrity guests right here not the two older females let's film the little one right here bella you can see <laughs> why all three of y'all run when i put the camera on you especially hunter she's just gone y'all this is victoria her sister hunter and victoria's daughter bell look you want to say anything to your fans at home hey give them a fist bump so all of you that are already getting ready to leave comments keep it clean keep it clean we're all friends here we brought the kids out. Bella is two, going on 22, or she thinks she is. Um, her and Luke want to catch some fiddler crabs, and Jake wants to catch some fish. Are you going to cook that? I will be cooking that on the grill. Put it on there. We'll fry him whole then. Throw him in the boat. Go put him in the well. So I haven't introduced Redneck. For those of y'all that don't follow along, that's my seven-year-old dog named Redneck. So we got some deer meat in the cooler, we got some corn on the cob, we got charcoal for this little grill right down here. I'm gonna get it going. You're gonna have to deal with planes taking off because there's an airport right there. We're gonna cook. We're gonna catch, clean and cook. Whatever we catch right here. The kids are having blasts, we brought some shrimp. Jake's got his jerk baits. Bella, you're getting awful brave, it's not cold. Oh, it's cold. What you got? Is that a mole? Let me see. It's a whole bomb. I think it is. It's a no. He's just he's just dead. <laughs> what is it? What is it? It was a hermit, uh, a blue crab. Oh, you find that everywhere. It's so obnoxious. So she just picked up a broken beer bottle right here where everybody plays and walks. All right, I got to start the grill because we're ready to eat already. Well, Blue Gabe's getting the fire ready. I'm getting some stuff for the fire. Son, uh, you're not even giving me a chance to fish yet. I'm over here doing all the work. The early bird gets the worm. All right, my second one. That's messed up. My kid's reached the age where he now puts the boat in the water by himself. He starts fishing without me by himself. But that's what I've taught him for. What do you have? Come here, let me see. You better keep track because Luke's going to try to say he got more than you. So go catch a whole bunch for me. Put him in the bucket. I've already got Thank three. Thank you. Dad. No way. You want the live ball on? No, turn it off. We're gonna clean and cook that fish in a minute. It's off. Do what? The glass? Yeah. Throw it way out there in the channel to where nobody can step on it, then it'll turn into sea glass. This fire's hot. All right, let's go over here and I'm going to try to film you catch one hot shot. Come on, let's just show us how you do it. Right, because I was going to catch mullet for this video, and now you're turning it into a barracuda video. All right, y'all, I'm going to show you how it's done. I made two casts and made caught two fish. So watch out for all the shattered glass. Yeah, literally, people come here and they party at the sandbar, and they're too ignorant to take the glass home with them. They just throw it out and it hits rocks and breaks. Look, Bella's just jacking up your fishing spot, huh? Right. Let's out. go past her down to that point. Yeah, they're just eating stuff all down here. Last minute. This water's cold. What are you going to do when a big one eats it and cuts that lure off? I'll be really mad about that. I want to work it like a little fast, but not too fast. Look. 
Don't be creeping on your brother's fishing spot. Let's go down a little bit farther and throw out there as far as you can. Which I don't know why I'm telling you what to do. You've already caught two. Luke, uh-uh. Little chitlins that away. Hey, y'all should have stayed on there. You too, hardhead. Yeah. That way. Oh. <laughs> Luke, I think you've met your match now, Luke. What is wrong with Luke? I don't know. You camera shy or what? I ain't camera shy. Redneck's ready to catch whatever you catch. I had my little spot there. What Jake is experiencing right now is what all YouTubers experience. As soon as we turn the camera on, it's twice as hard to catch anything that we're actually after. Oh, you got a stick fish. You done thought you had one. All right, I gotta go check on the fire. If you catch one, bring him back over here. So while we're waiting on Jake to catch another Barracuda, I'll fill you in on what's going on. I've been at hunting camp for like the last week. I needed a break. I needed a mental break with no cameras in my face. My buddy Adam came with me. He killed a real nice buck. I ended up killing a really, really nice buck. I'm not ready to show you yet. And I'm not ready to disclose where I killed him yet, but he's a dang sure, a big one. So today I dropped, today's actually Monday, I dropped the kids off at school and I got to thinking about it. I'm like, we gotta go do something fun and exciting for all the kids. And I've been wanting to spend some time with Bella. Um, her dad's actually in the hospital with a heart, some kind of heart disease that's not really good. So I felt like I could bring her out here, let her hang with the kids. What you got? They just some Oresi pliers. Just and just give her an experience. I would want somebody to take my kids if something was wrong with me. That's all we're doing. And we're gonna cook. We've got some fresh deer meat, like I said earlier. We now have some fresh barracuda. I've got grease, I've got all kinds of stuff. Right now though, I wanna take the kids around the corner and go catch some crabs. Come on, Luke, bring your bucket. Bella, come on. We're gonna go catch crabs. Come on. Luke, get your bucket. I know the honey hole. I think I know the honey hole. I think it's actually right through here. Seriously, every single time I turn a camera off, this kid catches a fish. We have enough for dinner now. That's three. All right, go put him back in there. We'll go clean him in a minute. You best not, you've already seen way too many videos of me getting jerk baits out of my fingers. Yeah, I know. We're gonna catch a couple more. <laughs> Me those pliers. So luckily, this hook is old and rusty. God! Woo! That sounded so wrong. That was no joke. So we normally like to cook over there at that island, but being that it's starting to cool off and we're getting close to winter, we came here so the kids weren't cold while they were in the water. What are you doing exactly? Trying to, I'm a, I'm trying to get the rust off? Yeah. How come you're the one that always finds interesting things? They just gave it to me. Who did? Them, I don't know. I wasn't looking. Just random, random strangers give it to you? Do you want to go find a crab? Come on, let's go. Keep catching us some fish, Jake. Come on. Did you see anything good over there? No. Uh, you know when you're talking to the camera, you gotta actually, I haven't even, let, let, let's introduce. Y'all, this is Hunter now that she can't run from me because there's deep water past her. Hello. <laughs> Come yeah, on. There's like that little walkthrough over there. Yeah. I tried to explain to Hunter a minute ago that I was exactly like she was with the camera when I first started YouTube. And I've never said this before on my channel, but how I got over being shy on camera was I would wear glasses and I would do anything but look directly at the lens of the camera. 
you think I'm looking at it because I'm pointing at it, but in all reality, I'm looking past it or looking to the right or the left of it. And that's how I got over my shyness. And now I can take my glasses off and look right at y'all. It's a little inside tip to my life. I struggled with shyness to the camera so bad for like the first year, year and a half. Now, just normal. Are you coming or what? Come on. Typical waiting on a woman. Yell for Luke. Tell you tell Luke. Come on, Luke. Some of my best memories growing up were doing exactly what we're doing with these kids right now. My mom would pack peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. We didn't have any fancy gear, just the basics. And those were by far some of the best years of my life. Even now, after I've done all these amazing trips and been all of these amazing places, I think back of Dubois and my mom with some cane poles, some shrimp, some hair hooks, and a beach just like this. It does not get any better. Oh yeah, we'll definitely find some critters in here. It's definitely a lot windier on this side. Actually feels good, that other side is really hot. I wish you could see, but right here we've got a bunch of little sand perch. Oh yeah, right here. Look what I got you. Huh? There's a hermit crab in there. You see it? Here, go put it in the bucket. Luke, are you cold? No, I am cold. So, Victoria's a first time mom. This is her first child. You want to talk about overprotective? I don't think she's let that girl out of her sight in two years. Little does she know that when we take Bella to hunting camp with us, she's not allowed to come. She's, we got to take Bella and teach Bella how to become a young adult. Can't have mama there with us when we do it. Do you think Bella will have fun at hunting camp with us? Yes. You gonna let her shoot a hog? Here. Go put him in the bucket. Bella, you wanna shoot a hog? Those are needlefish, not gar. All right, while they collect hermit crabs, I'm gonna go start to get our dinner done. I bought grits, everything, to make a full course meal. Another one? Mm -hmm. How many are we gonna catch? A lot. That's a beautiful little barracuda. He's gonna be good fried whole. Mm -hmm. So to tell you just how important fish rolls is, luckily I didn't have Jake put any of those fish on ice. I had him put them in the bait well to keep them alive until it came time to cook them. Well, I just had a thought and I'm like, I better check to see if barracudas have a size limit. Thank God we didn't kill them because they gotta be 15 inches and every one of the ones he caught are like cookie cutters. They're all 12 to 12 and a half inches. So we just turned them all loose and now I'm gonna get the cast net and go catch some mullet because I really, that's what I came here for was to catch mullet and cook them. And that's what I'm gonna do. So he's gonna keep fishing, having fun, doing his thing. I'm gonna get my cast net and go try to catch some mullet. Yo. I started today out, I went to the grocery store, I had me a checklist, I bought everything I needed. I got the grease, I got the pans, I got the charcoal, the corn, I prepped everything. I just got in the boat to get my cast net out. And my cast net's not in the boat. So now unless Jake can catch a barracuda over 15 inches, we're having deer meat for dinner folks. 
deer meat for dinner and that's all which that's okay because we absolutely love deer meat it's like our favorite thing in the world to eat but we came here to catch and eat mullet and i failed so bad so normally our water is a lot clearer here right now it's got a little bit of a tannic brown color to it and that's just runoff from Hurricane Ian. It'll be back to normal here in no time. A lot of people complain about the runoff, but literally the only other options flood the center of the state. And that I don't think is an option. I can already hear Luke yelling at me. What you got? Old blue Luke? So that crab's as old as Alabama. He's full of barnacles. Was that a blue crab? Yeah, he would bite the snot out of you too. Well, he has pink. Um, I, That's a female. Flip him over. That's a female. But why does he have pink at the tip of his... Because, um, uh, you know, women like pink lipstick. <laughs> Go put him back. I forgot the cast net. No. And all the barracudas are short. So it's looking like we're eating deer meat for dinner. Look, I'm sorry, no fried fish, only fried deer meat and grits. Are you alright with deer meat? Yes. Bella, That's do you like deer meat? That's yeah. than you fish. do? Yeah. What about you, Hunter? You? I thought you were vegan. <laughs> I told your dad I was gonna get that deer I just killed processing for him. He's like, bring it over. Oh, Luke's showing off now. He's got three females to entertain. <laughs> Bella, you're not scared in here? No. Huh, who's that? Who's puppy? Oh yeah. Gotta get it level though. No, you need to turn that poor crab loose. He's lived through some serious stages in life. All right, got the grease on, the water. Hopefully we'll boil soon. We're gonna get the grits and the deer meat ready to go. No, drink it. All right, so I just put the corn on the grill. I could probably put it right on the charcoal, but I don't want it to get too crazy hot because I still probably have 30 minutes of cooking left. The last five minutes, I'll probably put it right on the coals. Y'all see that right there? Deer backstrap cube steak. Shout out to Big Ed the Butcher. If you follow along a lot, you've seen a video that I've done with him. He's a butcher in West Palm Beach. It's called Big Ed's Butcher Shop. You bring him your deer and this is how it comes back to you vacuum sealed ready to go and it will last for years like straight up two or three years easily probably even longer this is actually your deer jake mm. the nice thing when he cubes it up like that it makes it super tender just got me a brand spanking new Lowry's. My brother Robert makes fun of me because that's all I use. It's just such an easy, simple seasoning. No need for salt and pepper and all that. You just use Lowry's. You like it, Jake? I love it. Jake's behind the camera. He took a break from catching barracudas. 
I was so excited to eat them. Yeah, me too. I don't know why somebody had to mess it up, make a rule like that. I'm gonna try this. I've never tried it before, just walking through Publix, and it looked good. It's sort of like a shake and bake, except for shaking and frying. Yeah. The cool thing about me forgetting my cast nets, now I can come back and make another video here. One thing I want to tell all of you, you can do this anywhere, any public place. Just take your trash with you. As soon as we got here, both girls walked around and picked up a couple handfuls of glass. There's an old raft laying right there. When this boat and when we leave here, there will be nothing left behind. And it's too easy to do it. Just don't leave stuff. It's terrible. I can't wait to see how this comes out with the battery. Hopefully it's good. You and Abram need to do a deer meat cooking video out at the ranch on palmetto um, fronds. Yeah, on the fire. That's it. Looks good to me. Gotta let the grease get hot and we'll be ready to go. <laughs> Did you see how he looked at us? So Luke was just not getting aggravated, but he's trying to dig a hole and Bella obviously is playing in it. And Luke just looked at me. I'm like, now you know how I feel when I'm filming and you come up and yell some random nonsense. You're doing great, Bella. You're like a traco just slinging dirt. Luke has finally met his match. You want help? Yeah. Luke, get down there and help her. She just said help. That's hot. Do you think when you shot that deer, he he ever thought he would end up on this beach here in Stewart? I don't think so. I don't either. You got the tongs? I'll tell you a fun fact about Miss Victoria here. She was raised exactly like me and my brothers, and so was her sister. She protects Bella like, oh my gosh, she can't do anything. Yet her dad raised her like, fend for yourself out in the swamp, just like us. But now that she's got a daughter, it's like, oh Lord. Let's wrap bubble tape against her and not let her just, do nope, nothing. It's done. Oh, it smells good. Let it drain out a little bit. You better pull that grease off the fire a little bit when you get them pieces out, cause it's hot. Put some butter in the grits. This is actually the most comical thing I've seen in a while. Luke is normally like the hot shot around here and he's getting dominated by a two year old girl right now. You think that's gotta cook a little bit? No, it's perfect, medium rare. Medium rare, is that? Redneck is definitely hunting something over there. I bet it's a rat. No, I don't think we have any iguanas over here. Unless they swim over. There's cheese dip right here if y'all want a snack. There's crackers right here. It's good too. It's that Publix brand. Luke, do you need to vent a little bit? Like express your feelings emotionally? How did you get so much dirt all over you? Because she's been throwing it at me. That's not fair, is it? It's not fair. I think Luke might need to borrow Mr. Trevor's emotional support dog. <laughs> he does. <laughs> hey, Luke, Jake just said you can borrow Mr. Trevor's emotional support dog. <laughs> that was a pretty good one, Jake. Look at that corn, it's hot. You want corn? Yeah, oh, wee. 
Yeah, I got some of that crab dip last week when Tanner was here and it was really good. Here. Did you put all the meat in there? All the meat. Ooh, I brought just the right amount of grits. Probably just make brown gravy. No. I didn't bring anything to make brown gravy with. Right, now that's fine. Thank you, dear God, for this day. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Thank you for letting us have a wonderful and safe, fun day. And please help this food nourish our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Dude. Tell me I didn't forget silverware though. Probably. Look, you know she's got redneck in her. She's dipping the deer meat in the grits like Jake does. That's what she got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't see. I got. I was too rushed today. Take a bite, Jake, of that meat, and let me know. You're my biggest critic. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Yeah, good. Is it good? Yeah. Look. All right, we're gonna sit down and eat, and I'm. Really good. I'm really pretty good. for sure I forgot silverware so i'm on a roll at least i'm keeping a good average today <sighs> redneck you ready to go too bad we can't stay for the sunset because it's going to be a pretty one tonight poor little bell is getting ate up by no cms so is jake and luke and all of us i guess so that's a wrap we're going to head back it's actually a school night the boys got to do homework still and get to bed at a decent time Tomorrow, though, I'm headed to St. Augustine to meet up with Tugboat on Instagram. We're going to do some oystering, going to go gig some flounder, and then I got a huge trip I just planned yesterday to Mexico in about three weeks. It's going to be insane. And in between that and St. Augustine, I'm going whitetail hunting in Tennessee. I completely forgot about that. So anyhow, that's it. High five. First YouTube video. High five. First YouTube video. Look, she's coming out in all her glory now. She's finally coming out of her shell. Jake, thanks for helping. You're welcome. Luke, you finished that whole bottle of Jack? I built it. <laughs> Give me five. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for all the positive comments. See y'all. See ya!